Verse 27. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. Mm. Wisdom is busted. Mm. Before the heavens, before the earth, mm. I was there as wisdom. When he drew the circle on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when he, stre when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he assigned the seeds its limit, so that the waters would not trespass the boundaries, I was there, uh, wisdom. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside God as a master craftsman. So wisdom was the one working with God. And I was daily his delight. God delights in wisdom. God likes wisdom. You know there are people that can open their mouths and say anything? That is lack of wisdom. I was watching Taylor when I was back home. And this uh, mayor of uh, one city where they were going to have tourist attraction and there were going to be lots of uh, people in that city is on TV live and he's saying let's face the facts there will be a lot of uh, visitors and people in the city can we ask the people from Hawaii to provide people with condoms everywhere <laughs> national TV and I'm thinking God have mercy what am I on TV because there will be a lot of activities in the city this is the mayor of the city on TV telling people I immediately I said, this is lack of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Politicians saying, if they come to, to threaten you, use whatever you can and fight them back. Lack of wisdom. Mm -hmm. But here wisdom is declaring, before anything was created, I was there with mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. So if we want the things of this world that has been created, we need the wisdom even to manage our wives, our families, we need wisdom. Yesterday, uh, we were at a wedding, and I asked people to say, how many have been married for over 30 years and above? A few couples stood up, and then I asked one couple to say, what is the secret? And this man said, uh, it's appearance. <laughs> Another one said, uh, love and laughter. Another one said, uh, you need to compromise and understand one another and all that. So and I was thinking and I said, oh yes, indeed. Sometimes you need wisdom. You are late and you are looking at the time and you go and open the car and then uh, what do you do? Your wife tells you, uh, oh, I forgot the comb. Uh -huh. Oh, I forgot to do the makeup. Uh, uh, Vine, what do you do? You are rushing for the meeting. <laughs> and then you, your wife comes to the car and says, Oh, I forgot my bottle of water. Goes back in the house. Another 10 minutes, you are waiting in the car. We need the wisdom of God. And just bring our tempers down. And say, Wow, we will go anyway. <laughs> we need wisdom. In all areas, we need wisdom. Amen. When we have money, even if you, you get money, brother Chambal, mm. okay, I've got a million. You need wisdom to spend it. Yes. Without wisdom, yes. and you get a lot of uh, people that are praying, God give me money, give me money. If God gives you a million today, mm. without wisdom, there was a man by the name of Ringo Billy, may he so rest in peace. <laughs> he went and robbed the bank. Mm. What did he do? He went to a shop and bought sausages. <laughs> and they went to arrest him and found him sleeping and immediately sausages. Thinking in the whole world, the only thing he was thinking of go and buy sausages and eat. Wisdom. In every area of life, we need wisdom. The wisdom of God is very important. We need the wisdom of God. To deal with our children, we need the wisdom of God. To manage our homes, we need the wisdom of God. We need to pray for our leaders in our nations. 
they need wisdom. There are times you watch TV and you see some of our leaders speaking. You can tell to say here they lack wisdom. All they need is wisdom. Mm. You know wisdom, how wisdom operator will be looking at um, a few things uh, as we go on. When you look at God creating the heavens and the earth using wisdom, then if I need anything on this planet earth, I need to tap into the wisdom of God. God, give me wisdom to handle this issue. God, give me wisdom to deal with this circumstance. We need wisdom. There are places of work you go, and the manager wants to say, there are people that have been quarreling uh, in this place. Human wisdom, the manager calls the first culprit to the office. Okay, I've been told to say there was this quarrel, but don't tell your friend, you, you, you are right. I think your friend is wrong. So keep it to yourself, let's carry on. You go out. He calls the second culprit. Come, I hear you were quarreling, but I have been told I have sufficient evidence your friend was wrong. You are right. But please don't go to your friend and tell that they were wrong. Let's just stop it up. That's human wisdom. You haven't solved anything. If anything, you've just created a big problem. A leader will say, yes, there is a problem. Whoever did A, B, C, D was wrong. But to move forward, we are not going to open the old page, we are moving forward and make progress. Wisdom is needed in every area of our lives. And as we go on this month, this year, let's seek the mind of God, shall we pray? Father in heaven, we 